Alice from Belize, AlizaSupply.com. I'm here to show you how to replace the cartridge on this 500 Marble Products faucet. Over here we have our repair kit from CompleteSalonSupply.com. Comes with the washer, the body, the stem, and the insert. Now, here's our faucet. First thing you do is shut off the water supply to the faucet. You take your hose, turn the faucet on, drain any pressure off, and make sure that the supply is off. Now, next thing you want to pop this cap off. Take note of the direction your your handle is facing. But that's the way you want to put it back on. Remove your screw in the center. Lift your handle off and set this to the side. And you see you got three screws into the body here. And that take direction. Take note of your the way your stem is pointing. And see there's a notch in this stem. You want to take note of the direction it is also. So it's pointing, in this case, it's pointing away from the stem. We remove the three screws. Then we lift the top off. Set it to the side. Lift the entire body out. That's it. Now you want to remove this washer. Make sure that this mating surface is clean. This one's okay. Now replace your washer. Take note of the direction of the holes. This one will fit. Right there. Take your body. You want to line up these square holes. With the large round holes inside the faucet. Put your insert back in, it doesn't matter what direction on it. Put your stem in, putting it in the direction it was when you removed the other one. The notch to the back. Take your cover, insert it back to the direction it came off. You may have to wiggle it a little bit to get lined up with the screw holes to get the first one to start. And start your next one before tightening the first one. Again, you may have to wiggle it a little. Start the last one. Once it starts, you can go ahead and tighten it up. Just snug. Tighten your others. You can tighten these down a little tighter on the last one. Go through and tighten the others down a little. So they're good and snug. Don't over tighten them. And now you're ready to put your handle back on. That right, came off. Should slip right down on there. Screw in. Replace the cap. And you're ready to turn the water spot on and check for leaks.